my first impression of a rundle on the bay was this. And this is a rundle on the bay. This is Oyster Creek. And this eventually became Oyster Harbor. That's what I saw. I didn't know it was a rundle on the bay. To me, it was a terrifying jungle when I was a, a, a child at Highland and at Venice Beach. And there's a distinction between Venice Beach and Highland Beach. Venice Beach being one road, and it's where my family built a house in 1922. But we'd look across, and I used to see this every day, and I guess about two or three I became conscious of it. And it was a jungle because I remember my brother and his friends would go over there and get in the trees and play Tarzan and the Apes. Nobody even knew it was a rundle on the bay, but it was a rundle on the bay. One thing that impressed me was that we used to go from Venice Beach, which is here on Oyster Creek, and we walk across the channel. It was very shallow, and maybe seven or eight inches deep at its deepest. Then we visited a fellow named Pete Tyson, and he lived on right adjacent Cedar Avenue. And he was a good friend. We also would go and visit the Curtises every once in a while. You know, Dr. Curtis owned a lot of property on Cedar Avenue, all the way to Narragansett. They, they were sort of slightly much more sophisticated than us. They used to enjoy gambling and alcohol and stuff. And my mother probably thought they were a little, a little fast for us. But anyway, we would <laughs> visit them and, uh, every once in a while. In order to get there, we had to come down a rundle on the Bay Road. We drove a couple of times because they would have like little parties or something and the whole family went. We were not supposed to go past Walnut Drive. This area right in here was an African-American enclave, um, just uh, north of Walnut and south of Narragansett. You could visit that and feel very comfortable. But apparently it was some, you know, I could sense the tension as we, as we drove to visit, to visit the Curtises. And I had an incredible nightmare. I was dreamed I was driving a pedal car down, down a rundle on the Bay Road. And I looked behind me and there came the giant from Jack and the Brainstorm stomping down the road. And I pedaled and I pedaled and I pedaled and then it turned into a slipper and I woke up. It was the most vivid dream I've ever had. Anyway, those are sort of my, my first impressions of it. Did you know about the, the history of Arundel on the Bay at that time when it was Absolutely. a resort and had a railroad that goes right, no. used to go right past your didn't house? Didn't know that, knew that, didn't know it at all. And the railroad didn't go past this house, it went inland. And that's in the Highland Beach book also. Well, and my grandmother talked about it. She talked about the railroad. She talked about things which I realized later on that this was a rundle on the bay. And my grandmother was born in like 1879, but you'll see there's an island here. And she talked about getting in a rowboat and rowing to the island. She said we would pretend to hunt for treasure or actually <laughs> hunt for treasure on the island. And my mother did the same thing. And because my, my grandmother's family was from Annapolis and um, then it left Annapolis. And Annapolis was like, with my mother, I think she said, that's the end of Annapolis, because they went to Washington. And in Washington, if you came from Annapolis, I don't think you really had much prestige at all. You had like negative prestige after Annapolis gained tremendously in, in I guess, prestige in like in the 1970s. And then she would talk about Annapolis and being born in Annapolis. She was born in Annapolis. My family's been from Annapolis, her family, since, God, I think since there was in Annapolis. Fortunately, but that sort of helped bring us to Arundel on the Bay.